How's it going everyone? My name's McHugh and welcome to Toilet Talk. It's been a very, very rough couple of weeks for me lately. I had to go on a couple of trips, I almost died a couple times, I got my glasses back. Well, I never really lost them, I just put my contacts out of my eyes, but I got my glasses back, so that's a dramatic change, I guess. But more to the point, let's talk about the trips that I went on. So get ready for some very touristy pictures. I went to Colorado and to Utah to go 14k mountain hiking, and that was a different experience for me since I've never really climbed up the mountains, but it was, um, well, it was what you expect for those who don't think mountain climbing would be that great. Uh, I got horrible altitude sickness, which if you don't know what altitude sickness is, that's when you are so high up in the air that there's less oxygen in the air, which kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but e either way, but anyways, there isn't enough oxygen in the air to keep your brain from functioning very well, so you get like migraines and flu-like symptoms almost, like I had a huge headache throughout the entire trip just because of altitude sickness and I was nauseous the entire time, it, it was just not a good deal. Honestly, that was probably one of the worst trips I've ever took. So the first night, we camped out at the base of Gray's Peak and the view from there is really pretty. You got our campsite ready and all geared up and everything and just slept underneath the stars even though it turned really really cold really really fast. That was something very unexpected and something that we were not prepared for. Then the following morning we climbed up the peak of the mountain. Well at least one of us did. I myself could not get up very high because I had been drinking a whole lot of water which is used to combat altitude sickness before you go up a mountain and I didn't drink anything on the drive there to Colorado or hardly any water going up the mountain so that was pretty rough. It was very rough. From that point on in Colorado we drove to Utah and we camped at another site. Now this site was really really beautiful like I've never been to Utah and I don't think I've seen a more prettier that's a word, right? Prettier land environment. We camped in this uh, pseudo camping ground, if you will, between like these red mesa, I think that's what they're called, red mesa like canyons, and it was just absolutely gorgeous. The following morning, we drove an hour and a half to the Arches National Park, and that place was goddamn gorgeous. So pretty. More red mesas, more canyons, more everything. It was absolutely a blast to go walk on those trails, and I have a small interesting story. So, being adventurous youngins, we decided to go up the beaten path and try to do the more difficult, harder trail. And while we did this, we somehow got lost on this trail. So, here we are, three dudes getting completely lost in the Arches National Park, and we have no idea where we're at, and we can't find the trail, so we just kind of wander for a bit in the wilderness of a bunch of Red Mesa Canyons. We were lost for about a good two hours, but that was actually the funnest part of the entire trip. I didn't have altitude sickness during that entire day, so that was great, and we just got lost in these beautiful canyons. Now. I wasn't actually scared of being lost because it was so pretty and it was like a, an adventure. We were hopefully looking out of there, hopefully, and obviously we did because I wouldn't be here right now. Or am I? I could be just a ghost. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually here. So we came to a point where we were just surrounded by canyons. We were like in a little like bowl thing with a bunch of canyons around it and that was really pretty. So. We really needed to find the trail, so we literally climbed out of these canyons, crawled out of these canyons, more like it, and we found people walking around, and we were like, civilization, thank god. But that was definitely the highlight of that entire trip. Then from Utah, we drove all the way back to Colorado, Denver, Colorado, and we stayed at a friend because she has a really nice place and beats the heck out of not sleeping on a bed for 
two days in a row. That was a fun night. We got to walk around Denver, had a couple of drinks, ate some places, ate some places, ate at some places. No, we literally just ate part of Denver. And the next morning, the final morning of that trip, we went up Mount Massive. There we go, Mount Massive. Mount Massive was a lot more grassy and greener, which compared to Mount Gray, Gray was really like desolate and gray. <laughs> uh, wow, I guess that's why they called it Mount Gray. I thought that was just uh, a, a name, but Mount Gray kind of looked like Mordor a bit. Mount Massive has a bunch of different uh, mountains kind of around it, but the one true Mount Massive had like the trail and everything. That was really fun to climb. That day, I prepared myself and drank a bunch of water. Probably like two gallons of water were just coursing through my veins, just ready and circulatory all through my body. Circulatory. That's another word. Although I was determined to get to the top of Mount Massive, I did not because I lost the trail. Yeah, that was really scary. So two of my friends were ahead of me and one friend had stopped climbing quite a ways away. And here I am just in the middle of this mountain trail trying to climb up almost practically vertical. But just... <laughs> so there's a point where I was climbing up the mountain and somehow I lost the trail. Don't ask me, I was... God knows what I was doing. I, I'm kind of afraid of heights, not really, but it sometimes it gets to me. This day it did get to me slightly. So being lost on the mountain and not having the trail, I looked up to see if any of the people in front of me were within eyesight. Uh, of course they were not. And then I looked down the mountain and saw that my friend was climbing down the mountain, going away from me. So I was kind of screwed and kind of fearful for my life. How I got out of that was I decided, you know what, I am not gonna find this mountain trail because finding the mountain trail is already kind of hard enough. So I ended up sliding on my butt down the mountain. I got to climb up halfway up a mountain and then I got to slide on my butt down a mountain, which I don't think too many people can say they have, but I did it. So here I am on Mount Massive sliding on my fanny and I'm just cruising along looking like a complete idiot going down this mountain causing rock slides and just trying to get down the damn mountain. So, uh, so after about 15 minutes of going down the mountain, uh, there was a guy going down the mountain as well. He had already been to the top. <laughs> he looks over at me and says, the trail's over here. And I said just casually, oh, there's, there's a trail. I somehow got lost as I was sliding down the mountain on my butt. But in my head, I'm like, oh, thank God, civilization, thank you. <laughs> and that is how I climbed up and descended from Mount Massive. I didn't really get altitude sickness going up, but as soon as I started going down Mount Massive, I got another bad case of altitude sickness. Even though I prepared myself with a bunch of water, I still got it. Needless to say, I liked mountain climbing, and then I didn't really like it. Like, if I didn't have altitude sickness, then sure, why not? That mountain climbing would be awesome, but I don't think I'm gonna try it again because of that altitude sickness. It's not that I was weak, it's more of the fact that the altitude sickness lasted like the entire day and I just felt like crap, and it was just not a fun time for the rest of the day having altitude sickness. So I'm probably not gonna do mountain climbing again. And once I got back from Colorado and my mountain climbing adventures, I had to go to another place, the University of Iowa, to drop off my baby sister to go to college. For her, not me. I already graduated college. But I had to drop off my sister Hannah and that was an experience. I love my sister and it was really hard to see her be a grown up, but you know, she's always wanted to move away, so I'm super happy for her, and I'm very proud of her. So that is where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Toilet Talk, and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video and watch 
a stupid video about someone's tourist attractions, adventures, and stuff, so <laughs> props to you for doing that. Be sure to check out the annotation lap around my head, that's still a weird word to say, for other videos that I've done. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much for being just awesome and being here. It, it really means a lot. So I probably said that a thousand times, but you know, I'll, I'll just keep on saying it. So once again, thanks again for watching, and as usual, I will see you in the next video. See you later.